morning, y'all. This is Dil Krom. I'm here with Gavin. Hello. From Quality Beast, Necrotic Gnome. Uh, we're at Spiel 18, and we're actually in our RPG booth in Hall 6. So, any Necrotic Gnome fans watching, if you don't know, Quality Beast is a new Necrotic Gnome publisher. And for Quality Beast fans watching, uh, Necrotic Gnome is our RPG department. Um, so, if you want to read more about that, check out Gavin's blog or the latest Necrotic Gnome newsletter. But how's the con been going? How's the event been going? Yeah, really good. Um, it's my first time at Spiel, right. so like I didn't know what to expect exactly. I yeah. expected craziness, yeah. and yeah. I've experienced craziness. Did you know it was going to um, be 180,000 people? I read about that, yeah, <laughs> as a, <laughs> to prepare my spirit. Um, yeah, I mean, today is Saturday, so this is going to be the biggest day. Yeah, Yesterday so. was really good. Like um, We've been running Dolmenwood games. Um, we had a lot of people playing those yesterday, running those in English and German, so oh, cool. that's yeah. been really cool. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. A lot of interest in that. Yeah, good response. Yeah. Uh, any any players dying? Any any gruesome deaths we need to know? Uh, I can't recall offhand actually. I wasn't running them. So. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to ask. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, have to ask the referees, later. yeah. And yeah. hey, big big thanks to our refs. We'll, yeah. we'll talk about yeah, uh, totally. our refs a little bit at the end. Uh, but so we have some cool news. We we've actually have some uh, new products that we've been selling here. Yes. So the news is the BX Essentials line is complete. Well, I should say that the initial core set is complete. So the, the new books that we're selling here for the first time at Con are the Monsters book and the Adventures and Treasures book. So now with these five books, this is a complete game. You got everything, core rules, character classes, spells, monsters and your magic items it must feel so good to yeah it's amazing yeah look at that like rainbow spine set of bx essentials <laughs> um so yeah. what's next kickstarter's coming right? yeah yeah so I, gu I guess two two things are next like one is the kickstarter we're planning for bx essentials mm -hmm. um so the idea is to produce um a an all-in-one book so at the moment, as you see, this is modular, this is separate books, yeah. but to put these all into a single tome, mm -hmm. um, some people are really into that. Yep, yep. Um, also to produce for the like pristine nostalgia factor, a box set with the booklets inside it, maybe okay. some bits and pieces, dice, character sheets, stuff like this. So Should that'll you... be for the 80s nostalgia factor. Right, right, right. So people can have that trip backwards and yeah, time. Yeah. So, so we've been talking about um, <laughs> Releasing this box set, no matter what, and, and then and then pushing these books through through mass production, uh, and, and trying to get off the print-on-demand model, yeah, uh, which will help the growth yeah. of Necrotic Gnome, mm -hmm. and uh, can also allow us to have more control over quality and the way binding is done, uh, so we can have that that lay flat mm -hmm. mechanism that yeah. you know that you love. Yeah. Um, and then the Kickstarter, even though you'd be able to purchase the box set as a part of it to support the Kickstarter, the Kickstarter would actually be for that tomb. Yeah. Oh, which, mm. which I think we're looking at hardback. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. 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 yeah, so really just premium quality, super nice, fancy, moss-covered mm. leather, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah. Cool, but that's not... That's not quite all for... So, yeah, I mean, that's that's just a kind of... Those will be deluxe versions of these current five books that we've got. Also, the plan for the future of the series is that um, we're going to produce a line of books that can swap out any of these existing books. So, for example, here you've got the classic basic expert fantasy stuff. Maybe you want to change the spells, so we'll produce an alternative line of spell books that you can then just slot in and out. So maybe there'll be like, uh, I don't know, pagan and elemental spells that you can swap in. Or like, for example, one we've got in development is a post-apocalyptic classes book. So you'll just be able to slot that in, have a completely different genre, but it's all compatible with the same rules. Cool. So yeah, so that's the longer term plan. Now, yeah. And do out maybe after that Kickstarter. Yeah, should should be early next year after the Kickstarter. We'll have the uh, post-apocalyptic classes, advanced characters, um, druid and illusionist spells. Those cool, are the cool. kind of three of that stuff. are definitely in development. Yeah. A lot of stuff in the yeah, pipe. Yeah. And those would also uh, go through mass production. Yeah, um, exactly. Help uh, us grow. And yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's that's BX Essentials, and saying the name out loud, maybe it's worth uh, touching on that we're exploring a rebranding at the moment. Yeah. The um, the issue we have with the current name, I guess, is that for fans of old school D and D, BX in particular, 
it's a really cool name. You know, people in this small scene know what BX is, and it's a very clear thing to people in that scene. But to the other 99.9% .9 of the universe, it's kind of meaningless. So we're, we're kind of discussing it, exploring like possibilities to change the name or to tweak it in some way to make it a bit more accessible and more obvious what it actually is. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, definitely. More, more to come on that. Okay, and yeah, and if you have any feedback or yeah, insight totally. or ideas, you know, leave them in the comments or, you know, whisper something secretly to Gavin in the yeah. cave somewhere. Yeah. Um, however you can get the message over. To totally open to dream transmission, dream whatever. Transmission. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how we do most of our work together. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> While we're sleeping. Naturally, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so there's also, though, there's some Dolmenwood news yes. as well. So, um, yeah, in addition to the BX Essentials Kickstarter, we're planning another Kickstarter for early next year. A lot of Kickstarters. Maybe crazy. Um, <laughs> so, but it's, it's going to be... Crazy your the... middle name, though. <laughs> yeah. Gavin Crazy Norman. Yeah, John. Crazy John. Crazy J Gavin Crazy John Norman. Yeah, exactly. Third. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so, so far Dolmenwood has been detailed in the Wormskin Zine, which is like a series of eight issues, um, each describing like pretty much randomly selected elements of the setting. Um, it's really atmospheric and it's got a lot of good content, but it's not that convenient for running games because it's quite like scattered around all these right. different issues. Um, so the campaign book will take all of this, organize it in a much easier way to use, like in, a, in an order that makes sense, and expand it massively. Um, so at the moment we've, we've got on the uh, Dolmenwood map there's 184 hexes. Um, at the moment I think about 50 of them have write-ups in Wormskin. Whoa, okay. In the campaign book it'll be 184. So. And how far along is that? If we if we can can we talk about that? I guess yeah. I guess it's about 60% written maybe okay, so something chug, like that. Along. Yeah. And yeah. there was some there was a little bit of discussion around if there was going to be like kind of a secondary book to the to the hex descriptions. Yeah. At, at the moment. Um, I've got two documents that I'm writing. Right. One is the like setting background, the other is the hex descriptions. Right, right, right. It's possible though, it depends how big they are, I guess. It's possible they may be two books and like slipcase. <laughs> it might be just one big fat tome, we're not sure yet, yeah. but so, to be discussed. So yeah. thoughts on that too, and especially mm. when the Kickstarter comes. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, the last piece of news that we want to share, which we said before, is that we uh, we are looking for, for referees. We are looking for volunteers to, to join with us around the world. And you don't necessarily have to come, you know, do dream transmission with us in person. You can also run games in your local area. And we have a we have a sign up for that. Referee.necroticgnome.com. Yes. It's like the newsletter in that it is a newsletter, but it's not the newsletter. It's, it's for referees. Secret only. info. Yeah. <laughs> and so right now we're putting together the structure of that. What does that look like? Uh, do, do referees level up? Um, you know, how, how are we supporting people that aren't physically with us? What treasures can you get? Yeah, exactly. And or some of the some of the boxes mimics. You know. Yeah. Is that like <laughs> <laughs> definitely a risk? Yeah. So, so basically, we're in the we're in the process of that. We don't have an exact date, but if, if you're interested, sign up. And then and once we have it all locked down, we're gonna we're gonna send out a an email about it and kick it off. And it should be it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so we're excited, and, and you know we've been getting some signups. So we're ho we're hoping to see more of you and just join us in this necrotic gnome quality beast journey that we're doing. That's about it, I think. Yep. So hopefully we'll survive Saturday here at Studio 18 <laughs> uh, without dying a gruesome death. All right, it's Dilkram from Quality Beast and Gavin from Quality Beast and Necrotic Gnome. Ciao, y'all. Ciao.